Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. TNCs. Yes, shaker. Hello and welcome to the International 2017. We are here with Team Liquid and TNC Pro Team. I am Shiver. I'm here with Blitz. Blitz, how you're doing? I just had the stupidest thought. <laughs> I was like, wow, it's so it's TI7 and it's 2017. Those match up. I'll never forget which TI I'm at. Do you already got to that conclusion yeah, I now? I don't know, dude. It's like this is I the first time. There's been so many TIs where the TI has just been said rather than saying International 7, it's the International 2017. Yeah, but I've always thought about it in the the numeric form, and then I just realized. They're both numbers. Yeah. They're both numeric. If I take away the 2, 0, and the 1, Cheever, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, left with, well, I'm left with which TI I'm at. You'll never forget again, mm -hmm. ever. We're learning things in this stream. Even if it's not entirely about Dota. We uh, we have ourselves a, a match that's actually pretty important. We have Liquid sitting on 8 and 2, and TNC sitting on 6 and 4. They're both in Group A, and if TNC is able to 2 this, they're tight, and then the basically TNC gives themselves a better shot making it to the upper bracket. Right now, Liquid is looking good to go to the upper bracket if they don't drop too many games anymore, but they have to face TNC, Empire, and uh, Secret still. So it's it's not in the books yet for them, uh, but these matches are going to be very important to secure upper bracket. You got to be in the top four to be upper bracket, and uh, Group A is the group. The normal LGD, and um, LGDs are doing quite well as, still as well. So you wanna you wanna just keep up with them. You wanna keep up with them. Blitz, TNC, Team Liquid. I mean. What do you make of this so mm. far? TNC Team Liquid. Okay, so they so usually when you second pick, you're gonna counter pick whatever you see first. So first pick usually gets the quote unquote OP hero, like whatever is really good in the meta currently. That's what they're gonna get, and then you have the opportunity with the follow up two picks to kind of understand where they're going with it. Yeah. Because likely it's, for example, likely when you see Liquid pick Earthshaker, you know that's going to be a GH support ES. Yeah. I mean, he's basically only played Earthshaker or IO and one Cottle, but Cottle yeah. has banned up. The thing, the thing about it is, no matter what, Liquid's going to get one of those three. Yes. It's just, because Liquid's not going to ban it. They want to play, they want to play yeah. one of those three. So uh, it puts teams in a really awkward position where you just have to give it up. From, so from a drafting uh, standpoint, it's very, very good. There was a team they lost to, though. Was it LGD? Uh, they lost uh, with the Shaker against EG, and they also lost the they had an against IO. Uh, LGD with, a, yeah. with an IO. And that was beat. so big for LGD because they realized that they could beat the IO. Yeah. If you can beat these heroes... Well, then they also lost against IO next game. Yeah. It's like that thing Peter, uh, Peter, PPD used to do where they have these, like... There's this wonky area where you give up a hero and see if you can beat it or not. It's the Shrek story. Yeah, exactly. Because you, you have to find out... It's, it's too... It's really weird having to just give it away repeatedly and just like concede the fact that one of these three heroes is automatically going to be you or something. Mm -hmm. And we have got ourselves an Oracle. I'm still not that big of a fan. Yeah. I like Dazzle better. Like if you're going to go for a defensive hero, I, li I like Dazzle. But that's also because I feel like you can feel the Dazzle impact, I think, a lot more than the Oracle. Yeah. No, I agree. I think Dazzle... Whenever I see Dazzle played, I'm just thinking to myself, like, this hero is insane. Yeah. And when I see Oracle played, oftentimes you kind of get run over, and it feels a little bit mediocre. Oh, but they do do the Wumbo combo with the Husker Oracle, though. Sometimes Liquid just... Is this the first Husker? Are we having the first Husker game? Mm. Was he Because he was not picked at the end of the day yesterday, but he might have been picked in one of the games that was happening this morning. I believe he was picked. You got so excited about that. I did. That I don't want to prove you wrong here, but... <laughs> I think there's a decent chance. You can look it up. I'm curious. I will. All right, all right, all right. There's been uh, so many different hero picks this TI. It's all right, crazy. Let's see. We're in, uh, we're in a very interesting. Husks? Meta. Oh, Husk was unplayed. Hey, first Husker of the tournament. If anyone's going to do it too, it's going to be Liquid. If you watch Dreamhack Atlanta, we got Huskard. We got Huskard. I mean, it's, it it's a fun hero to watch as well. Is it? 
I think so, because he is very aggressive early on. Because if, you, if he's not aggressive early on, then he's just going to fall flat later on. So he he makes sure that uh, the early to mid game is uh, is exciting. At least for me, not for the enemy team, generally. But I I do like TNC's lineup so far as well. They they are looking pretty solid with their heroes, pretty straightforward as well. Uh, we're not yet sure if we're gonna have uh, the Clockwork or the Sand King offline both work out, and TNC oh. has. I believe played uh, both, but I'm gonna imagine that Sam H will play the Clockwork and will have the the SK played by Tims as a support. I think oh. that... Oh, that's a Necro too. Yep. I know they really like this hero as a whole. That means it's probably like... I'd like to see Miracle Huskar. And... Okay. That, I mean, that instantly explains the Oracle pick, right? They see... They see Ember as a core, and they're thinking to themselves, like, we're gonna Huskar this. Like, 100%. Because Ember just can't do anything against Huskar. If you think about Ember's item builds, too, what do you typically go? Like, Veil? Doesn't do much. If you go Battle Fury, too late. You sort of just lose already. Can you switch back to the old-fashioned build of Ember Spirit and for focusing on your physical damage? I mean, yeah, but if you go the Battle Fury, though, what do you... It, it takes so long on Ember. Yeah, it, it does. It, and the it cleave mechanic is just kind of... It's so mediocre. You Please tell that to Owen. Yeah? <laughs> like, I... <laughs> no other actually. Just tell that to Owen. Okay, so... Tinker is a good way to deal with this, I think. Because you need to delay, delay, delay. Because yeah. like you said, there's a there's a curve for Huskar. He, oh, he's so incredibly strong going up. And then there's this just this like peak fall-off point. Where you ideally want to end the game with this hero. Because he just doesn't scale as well as other cores. So we're favoring Liquid in this one. Because, I mean, delaying the game is one thing, but they... I mean, you go, you, they only had two picks to prepare for the fact that they had to delay the game, right? That Huskar was picked fairly late and you already stuck with your Rubik and your Clockwork. And that's not that great for, for your high ground defense. That's more like aggressive. I, I think they, they got the last pick, the, the Huskar, right? Or... They picked the Sand King and then they took the Huskar. So uh, that... yeah, I believe so, because then you got the... Five seconds remaining. Not entirely sure. But I think you're right. Yeah, that so, has to have been how it was. So that's even less time, like, less picks to prepare for, for Huskar. And is Tinker going to be enough? Uh, I mean, if there's one here that can do it, it's probably Tinker right now. Because okay. they, needed, they needed a way, aside from the Sand King, to push in the waves. Or as the Europeans say, out spam. I mean, I'm European. I don't say that. Really? That's what the Euro pros say, like PyCat and Misery and stuff. Out spam. That out seems spam. like a League of Legend term. That's like you spam out the lanes. You know, you need some out spam. No, because uh, I don't see it. I've, n I've not heard that. No, I'm not convinced. Well, she. That's the term. <laughs> that's, that's the. Well, I, th I guess I just have to accept it. Yeah, that's the. That's the colloquial term that we decided to use. Whoa. That's in the Dota Zeitgeist. Wait, I don't know that word either. Right! <laughs> Let's take a look at who's playing what. We got Matuma Man, he's playing as Necrophos. Just like the first game of the tournament he played, we got Miracle on the first... First Huskar of the tournament. Three days in, so many heroes picked already. Kuroki's playing the Oracle, he's already in deep with the smoke to place that nice ward. Mind Control will play his Nature's Prophet. And GH, once again, on his Earth Shaker. Uh, no real surprise there. We got a five-man smoke coming out from TNC. Smoke, TNC. go around, kill them all. And we're gonna walk up the high Matuma ground. Man is so... Oh, so hello. dead. Looking for that Burrow Shike. They're gonna go for this. Range, but he's very He's got fast. boots! Yep, we got it. Is there backup? There's a lift, the golden lift even. Matuma Man, he's trying to stay alive, but nah, there's no way. What do you possibly... <laughs> you, I mean, he's a... trying to stay alive. You, you, got, you know, you gotta give him the benefit of the doubt that he was trying to stay no, alive. No, no, no. It's more like I, I'm looking at... Um, I'm looking at Kuroki and he's thinking about something. He's like, do I... Because he hasn't skilled anything yet. So he's just like, what do I skill here to make this... Make this somewhat okay? And there's absolutely nothing that you can oh. do about it. Oh. All right, so Tim's is on the Earth Shaker, and uh, we got our uh, Earth Spirit, Earth Sand King. Wow, also an uh, Earth Hero, whatever. One for three seven on his Rubik, Sam H on his Clockwork. We got Kuku playing the Tinker, who's uh, being delayed 
on his venture to the mid lane after taking the rune, and then uh, on the bottom lane we got ourselves an Ember, played by Raven. And the runes, I think the runes were still evenly split. Yeah, yeah, they were. Mind control got one, Matoma Man got one. Nope. This bottom lane though, I am imagining this is very Nature's Prophet favored. Because you can just right click with uh, with the trees and... Yeah. So as a result they're going to go for an aggro tri lane, but... Because this is the one thing that you can do against Huskar, right? You can aggro tri lane him, he can't really do too much. Uh, he doesn't really have a lot of defensive abilities and can they're immediately going to go on him and... Yeah. He's got nothing, Sheebs! He's got nothing, that battery assault wow. is uh, pretty painful! This is how you do it, I guess. Yeah, shut him down early. So he never gets uh, a seat on the ground, really. Kuroki getting a burst truck as well. There is another lift available in a couple of seconds. And that should be a third kill on the side wow, of that TNC. Is fast. There you go. Got him. It happens just like that. It happens just like that. In the meantime, Matumaman is hara harassing Kuku quite a bit here on his sinker. He had the advantage just because the Earthshaker showed up and fissured a few times yep. in the wave. But the one saving grace for Liquid right now is his bottom lane. Uh, we talked about how I'm pretty certain as your expert analysis that this main I've never played this lane matchup so I don't I don't run into a lot of nature's profits lately anyways I mean it is a very unregular un matchup yeah because normally we see wait a Ember second mid. wait a second Huskar again miracle stuck oh, and boy dead okay so are we gonna see a lane swap because this is not good or is this still good because of that bottom lane like, I think I when think do it's you time to I think it's time to swap lanes, but the problem is if you swap lanes, they'll just follow you back. Yeah, but at least you got the move. That's true. Man, this I mean, the beginning like, of this is rough. Look at bottom two. Yeah, Raven is uh, is actually he might actually die. There is a burrow strike available from Tim's. Actually, there's not. He doesn't even ha he doesn't have the mana for that. But yeah. it does force mind control away, and that's enough for the moment. This is good Raven though. Live. He forced he forced heroes around, which is really important because yeah. they couldn't deal with that three on two up at top, and Tim's coming down here without any mana. Think about it, he's gonna have to re-heal. Both of these guys have to heal, and he can't TP anymore. He has to run all the way back, so Miracle's gonna find a little bit more footing up at top, because he can deal with just the solo clockwork. Yeah, because 1 for 3, 7 also just rotated down. Also, no mana on that top lane for him at the moment. Uh, bottom lane. For the Rubik. The rough part, though, is that Miracle had to walk all the way there. He oh. didn't have a TP himself. Cuckoo gets blocked out. They're gonna try and kill him. Courier dies as well, but we're gonna follow Cuckoo's death here. I think his death is uh, quite certain, especially with Minecraft teleporting in. Uh, he does take a lot of beating from this tower, but he'll be okay. He sniped the courier as well. That's why he was behind there. Yeah. That makes sense. And he's gonna shove in the wave. If you're this necro, you wanna make sure that Tinkers get Tinker gets as little of this as possible. So you just shove in the wave. Gonna deal some damage to the tower because we talked about how important that mid uh, tower is, Shiver. Yeah. And more importantly, like when you're a mid player, you want to chip it down whenever you can. That's why you'll see like people just take hits on it, you know. Mm -hmm. This uh, clockwork is having a rough time without his supports here. Yeah. He's not able to do much, but Tim's is back, and a uh, one for three seven is on his way back as well. That's uh, what I mean. That the bottom TP really kind of makes the game a little bit wonkier for them. It's less straightforward. Yeah. And it also means that the, the Ember Spirit is back to having the shitty matchup for him with the Nature's Prophet. But it, it's a weird situation because no matter what, you know that somebody's game is going to get sacrificed. At least for uh, Raven at this bottom lane, he can get XP. Like, he can just soak, soak up XP and he shouldn't be able to die to mind control. Oh, Miracle has his eyes on the Sand King. Yeah. But again, we're in a, they're in a weird position where because they weren't up here as three and they didn't have full strength, somebody gets low and this lane is not as one as it once was. was. And now you've got GH up here too. Maybe if you don't, maybe if Tim's doesn't force that TP bottom, this game is completely different. Yeah. It's like that game we saw. Remember when Matama Man was Ursa and he just TP'd yes. uh, to top and then he was forced into a weird situation? That's kind of this moment in the game is they're going to ping him out. They want to go on him. Sam H is going to pop that. Well, let's see. Miracle is in a bit of a pickle here, but alive for the moment. And oh, Tim's no. is about to die first. Mind Control coming in to help out. Seeing if he can get something more, he has the Sprout available, but he doesn't have the range, and that means that 1437 should be fine. And he does get the Sprout off to see if there's still someone stuck in the trees, but uh, it is Sam H. And even the scan that they used, it's not in the right place. He's still looking for him though. Sam H, can he stay alive? I don't think so. 
He gets scouted out. He does do a lot of damage to Miracle. He has to be careful here, but uh, yeah, there's no way. He can't escape. He's on fire. Oh. Nope. Oh, that, that was. Nah. I had a fair fire. He tried. Yeah. 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 He was never in any trouble. Miracle would have been fine. However, Raven is okay too. Yeah. Raven gets a little bit more space on the map. <laughs> He's level five. He's doing okay for himself, but that these TPs just kind of make the game really awkward. And now you've got a Nature's Prophet who's really strong. There, there was like this window of time uh, where they could have abused that top lane a little bit more, yeah. but because of that TP, then they have to run down, and he has to run back to base. Uh, then he has to run up. Half his team isn't ready. Like it's just such an awkward position to be in. As in mid, they're gonna go for it, but Matama Man. Pops his Ghost Shroud, shouldn't go down to this. And in fact, they're gonna turn it around. Yep, that means that Tim's, he's running for his life. One more hit will do it, but he is staying alive for the moment. The aura, though, is taking him down. Slowly but steadily, Burst Strike up to the high ground. Oh, no. oh he lives. They should have, oh, he gets caught. But the Fisher. GH just throws it out. Even finds a regen like this. Oh, uh, lucky bastard. This is getting so rough now for TNC. This Nature's Prophet is playing too fast around the map for them to deal with. I mean, kills early on in the game generally mean less than kills later on because they just get a lesser advantage. And at this point, Liquid, they managed to even out the score. They are still having Matuma Man with a bit of trouble, but GH comes in as well, so he's trying to help out. Live back to the other side of the Fisher, and that still secures the kill for Tims. In comes Kuroki, he's here to help out, making sure that he kills up one for 3-7. GH looking for another go. He has a Fisher in two seconds, but uh, they both back off. I still get a Fisher, I just good measure. Hey, top lane. That was a solo kill. He was <coughs> full HP too. That is... Okay, that's that's not on us. That's such an unexpected kill. Yeah, I, that was just a solo clockwork against a uh, Huskar. <coughs> yep. He had full everything too. He didn't have to use the hookshot either. <laughs> so just a weird set of circumstances in yep. general. Bit of a misplay perhaps. I mean, the clockwork is out leveling the Huskar a bit. A bit. <laughs> By like a well, after that kill, it was an extra level. Yeah. But before that, it was one level. Still, Liquid doing okay around the map. Yeah. The, the best part is that the Nature's Prophet is at such a sick game. As well as, uh... Oh, he's gonna oh, hunt for the courier at bottom. Courier he... is Wait, dead. what? Oh, that was a bit of a misplay. Someone... Somebody... Somebody messed up. Someone's getting fired for that. Yep. Ooh, we have a rotati rotation up top. Tim's is here together with 1437. And Once they want to take down Miracle again. Burst like to set things off. Stuck in the cogs. Miracle tries to do what he can, but. Okay, they're no they're riding the ship a little bit. Although at bottom, if they don't lose the courier there, that. Yeah. Somebody was somebody was fiddling with it, I think. I and think so too. Someone was microing it away, and. and yeah. yeah, that doesn't. That doesn't if they just send it down, it, it oh, survives. GH gets caught, but manages to stun three and. Lays down a Fisher. Yeah, and Tim's is in trouble here as yeah. Matuma Man's chasing him. This should be a clean ultimate. There's a burst strike and a TP available, but oh, yeah, never mind that. It's the Reaper Scythe to finish him off. He doesn't get him in the. Uh, oh, my the control! He might actually die. Wow, oh, there we go, Raven. All right, Raven is. <clears throat> completely reset his game now and that's the crazy part is when you're that far ahead of one laner and you die solo like that the gold advantage just completely swings like he despite just being a punching bag for <laughs> the majority yeah. of this lane is now he's for half a second he jumped in front of uh mind control in terms of net worth so how do we how do we rate this game because it started out with tnc doing really well and then we had them you know, on the back foot a bit with Liquid coming back, and now it seems like TNC is doing okay again. Are we are we even? Are we are we square? Uh, I don't think if we're quite even yet, but TNC, uh, they're making the most of it right now. They're having good individual plays more than anything. I would say that one bottom uh, TP by Tim's made their game awkward, but they've done enough. And up at top, oh Tinker, he gets actually blocked in by the Trians. There was no way out for him. He was. Uh, not able to get out. He teleports out. Yeah. Sam H wastes the hook shot up the top, unable to do anything about it. Uh, Kuro just fade Cedix himself, and what are you going to do about that? Sand King. Four. Oh, teleporting my mom for 3 7. He teleports into his sprout. He teleports in to die. Gets a lift off, but it doesn't do anything whatsoever. Tims, you better be careful here. You got a bit of backup there. You got Sam H stuck there as well. He's stuck. 
And just gonna get right clicked and those treads. He's not probably he was, shouldn't have cost that. Yeah. And Tim walks forward because question mark Raven comes in to try and help his team, but his team was already dead by the time he arrived, so he's in a tricky position. He can still get himself to the high ground, and that will be enough. Hey, Samage, can he make this a double kill? He's already got one down. Mind Control is taking a lot of damage as well, though there's no flare available, unfortunately, for him, but that looked like it It almost looked like he could get a double, maybe even a triple kill. He's a uh, bit more lucky. Battery is sold. And just a sloppy fight overall as Miracle. Now has the armlet up at top. Tim's is going to go into a little bit of fight with him as Raven commits. Looks like they still want to go for this. There is an armlet available, but here comes the laser. Ooh. No armlet toggle for you. Tim takes a lot of damage, but he is, uh, he's okay to just walk back. Yeah. And a lot of skirmishes across this map. As uh, Sam H still dies, he was uh, still... I'm not sure what he was doing there, actually. He was just taking a little bit of a stroll. There's just battles happening all around the map. I mean, this is a very this is a very good game of Dota overall. Both teams, there's some minor errors here and there, but the overall skill is pretty good. I'd say there's only been like two mess ups as up at top. Miracle gonna go for it. Ulti costs him nearly nothing, especially with that armlet. Yeah. So who is who are these skirmishes um, favoring? Like, is there one team that is is more? happy with all these fights around the map because we know that that Tinker is, is there to delay the game, right? Mm -hmm. So you would imagine that they, that generally Team C wants to play it safe, not as many skirmishes. I would say Liquid is probably a little bit more satisfied with how the early game's gone and Sam H at bottom, gonna get treated in. But yeah. Man does veil him up too. He has that ulti, wants to try to use it, but... Uh, he's running for it, but they just drop it he's gonna...
It's very good to Raven, by the way. He has boots of travel, and then he had 2,500 gold, and he's like, what do I build against this Nature's Prophet who's already almost got Orchid? Yeah. You simply get a Yule Scepter. So by the time he gets his Orchid, he's already kind of hard countered in that sense. Still handy against the uh, Tinker, though, the, uh, the Yules. Tinker's got his Blink. He's got his boots of travel. Almost a Radiance, by the way, in Matumba Man. He's very farmed. He's he had quite a good game. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why. He just popped we, up with the items. Yeah, I mean, I disconnect for a second and all of a sudden there's this fat necropose on the map. That's crazy. That is crazy. Nah, he's uh, he's having a good time. Someone who might not be having a good time for a very uh, long time, long, much longer, uh, Cuckoo, might be... No, he's okay. And they actually kill Mind Control consecutively. Aww. He goes down again and that 5k lead with two deaths on Nature's Prophet and that tower, like he was so far ahead. This is Nature's Prophet, and if you look at his net worth now, you can't afford to die on course, which sounds silly, but it's even more important when you're ahead like this. You can't get solo picked off, that's why you see the rest of Liquid, they're playing this 5-man game, and it's meant for mind control because of his global TP to just go around the map pushing out the lanes that aren't pushed out, but he's dying for it. And meanwhile, they can just defend with Cuckoo at bottom. You can't really, uh, you can't really do too much about this. They were they were trying, but they scanned it a little bit too late when it wasn't there, and then they were just uh, my cuckoo was just a little bit too uh, slippery for them. And now uh, GH also started to defend mid lane again because in the meantime TNC is making sure that the other lanes are pushed out. Look at this at uh, bottom though. You can't like this if you're Liquid because they're sharing one lane of XP yeah. for four people. Yep. 
this tower is eventually going to fall, but I'm not sure if that's oh, necessarily mind worth control it. Again, hook shot in as well, stuck in the cogs, can't sprout himself out this time, and easy pickings for TNC. Yeah, Matama Man going to come in, Cuckoo, he's going to get caught. This is oh. a very big kill. But yep, Reaper Scythe to finish him off, Kuroki lives, and they're chasing, uh, they're chasing down. They're chasing down SMH. He already got stunned, he gets jumped as well. Cogs don't matter. God-like Matuma man. Whee! Well, they might not have liked hanging around uh, bottom with the four of them, but they definitely like that one. Yeah, and especially if Cuckoo doesn't die right there. That... That's rough. Him dying there kind of just resets them a little bit. Because this is going to give up Roshan, which is probably the biggest thing. This Roshan is going to allow Huskar to just go insane. And the thing about the first Roshan of the game, normally you can't really do too much with it. Like, you can't go high ground, but if it's on a Huskar, he can. And Tim's is trying to guess it, but... Uh, too late. So Look at, at this. At what point are we going to see this Ember Spirit, you know, uh, step on the gas a bit? Because I feel like he's not having that much of a presence right now. I mean, what items does he go? How does he really fight in a game like this? He sort of just is in an awkward position where... He can't really fight as they're gonna catch out 1437. He doesn't have any stolen spells. They're gonna go for the hook shot, but this is a one on four clockwork. Yeah, that clockwork tried to give his life for a support of Rubik. Oh, here's the two man stun. Nice burrow strike coming out there from the Sand King from <gasps> Tim's. Jumped up in the high ground. Ooh, Miracle in deep, but he's fine. He has the ages as well. He goes for Raven. Raven takes a lot of damage. Force back to base. Force back to pop the shrine. Burrow strike coming out, slowing down Miracle in the ring time. Lick was just taken down the tier 2 tower. Cuckoo died in that as well. It's only GH that died for 3 on the side of TNC. Yeah, and the Nature's Prophet is here now too. They're just going to push this in. And like I said, first Aegis normally can't do too much with it. You get all the tier 2 towers. Huskar is the one hero that's sort of the exception to this rule where you can just immediately go for the high ground. That's exactly what they're going to do. Take this tower and TNC. They need this. They need their tinker life oh, to be able do. to defend any of this, and that's a set of racks down at 23 minutes. That's a, that's a rough one to take. Sprout up on Raven. He already used the use, pumps it on the shrine. Nice burrow epi, epi from Tim's, trying to force them back out of his base. But two man pops the blade mill, gets cogged as well. He's taking a lot of damage here, but he's okay for the moment. Raven coming in, taking the kill in the end. Still mind control, silencing up Raven again. Raven, invisible for the moment, and a Glimmer Cape goes again for the Nature's Prophet, Sprout up. Can a Mind Control stay alive through all of this? He's just attacking people. He might not be attacking people for long, though he does end up dropping Raven. He has got a use available, using up G8s, but he still drops to Kuroki. 3-4-3 three, three right now as Kuroki ends up dying to the Rockets of Cuckoo, who is still in the back lines, making sure... Oh, he's gonna get that, stunned up now. Oh, he's gonna get more than stunned up. He's gonna get obliterated. This was, uh... uh uh, this is going to be the finishing off later racks. Four dead Sand King is the only one alive. Yeah, and because you took that early Aegis, you can just chill now, wait for the next Roshan to spawn, and just dare TNC to fight you outside their base. Yep. This is, uh, and I mean, that was, that fight was horrendous for TNC. They it was really so losing, much. it was losing the Tinker early on. If you lose yep. a Tinker like that, then it's already hard defending against the Huskar and him going high ground. But when you lose the Tinker, you pretty much just lose all opportunity to do anything about it. Like, he just marches up there, Miracle doesn't care. This Ember, we talked about it, he just doesn't do enough damage right now. Yeah. I mean, is that something that they, they still have time to fix? Like, how are TNC looking in terms of fighting with uh, going up against Super Creeps? Uh, like, I mean, this mid Rex is okay. And with the Maelstrom also on the, on the end, surely they can actually fight. Yeah, it's the... Uh, I think if they lose the second side, that's when the game becomes pretty impossible. Because you're just getting less farm overall. There's not a whole lot that you can do. Oh, mind control? Oh, uh, what are you doing there, buddy? You can't get out. That was wild. Did he get the career? No. I mean, I'm going to assume he went there for the career. Mind control's crazy. He's feeling the... He has made some aggressive between first this game. <laughs> hey, Space Graded, he lured a lot of people back to base. You know? Right? Yeah. Silver linings. <laughs> uh, we have all shrines taken down on the side of TNC. 
Uh, well, the shrines that are not in the base, obviously. And that means that there's less map control for TNC, and that, that makes Roshan all the more difficult when it's back up again. How important is that next Roshan? That's probably the second lane of Rax, which we talked about is probably the game ender. All right. That's not uh, not a nice uh, first sight for TNC, who's power smoked up. They're going to try to invade enemy territory. Matuma man. Yeah, it's a difficult one. If they find him, he's going to... Ah, they find GH first, actually. Perhaps they can take him out first, but he gets saved by Kuroki in the meantime. One for three, seven. He's already dead before the fight, fight even begins. Kuroki, he saves himself as well, and GH is still alive. Nobody dead yet on the side of Liquid. Now, finally, Raven is able to finish off GH, but Raven, he knows that he has to flee. Tinker, realizing he shouldn't teleport back into this one because that's not, that's not where you want to be. No, not at all. Oi, oi, oi. Get out of there, friends. Yep, Sand King tries to uh, split push the wave a bit, or cut the wave, rather, in the mid lane. Yeah. Again, Tinker does the same instantly. They make sure that they try to push the other lanes out because they just need to hold. They don't split push, though. They don't have any physical damage or any tower hitters either. So it's they just wave clear. Yeah, so the only thing you can really do in this position is fight. You can try to hold your base by spending out all of these abilities, but the only hero that can really do it is Sinker. And to a lesser extent, Raven. But Raven wants to be doing something on the map. He doesn't want to be stuck inside base. Otherwise, you're just getting a uh, neutral amount of gold. Is Mind Control going to TP in now? Do they need... Um, yeah. Oh, Cuckoo? you got to be careful here. Miracle in a bit of a pickle, but he's got the armor. He's got Kuroki to back him up as well, and that might actually be enough. He gets the heal. Cuckoo, trying to teleport out. We'll be able to make it out. And Huskar lives full HP. Easy. <laughs> you really doubt that? <laughs> oh, in the back line. I was down that for a little bit. Oh, they, they went in deep here. Matuma Man gets the scythe off, so that is Raven out of the picture. Mind Control holding uh, back Tim's in the Sprout. Sam H on the retreat as well. Burrow Strike Sam H is looking to be the sacrificial lab to try and save Sam H, but it looks like both of them are ending up dead. Indeed, they do, and that means Cuckoo is the sole survivor for his team. This tier 2 tower, um, he's very optimistic in trying to defend that, but I guess he kind of has to try to hold the wave, make sure to delay this push because even without ages they c could just walk high ground and take a rex or at least a tower i'm surprised that they committed to that i know it looks like miracle's about to die there but it's huskar plus oracle yeah and oracle dropped everything he earned him he used like three different heals miracle had his oh. own heal plus armor oh, strike and epicenter is enough oh, to miracle take dies. down matuma man and indeed miracle as well that is a nice high ground defense from uh, from disu right here in the meantime bottom lane it was mind control he's trying to teleport out should be able to do that he i pretty certain he had his uh he had the armlet toggle available but probably just didn't think that tower hit was going to kill him they lose that tower up at top but uh, tnc they hold. they hold it's a rough one but they hold i uh, when does Husker fall off in this game, you think? Like, when when do you feel like TNC is going to get their chance? Like, around... Is there any item they wait for, specifically? Uh... <laughs> I mean, it's, I, know, I know it's a tough one, right? I mean, they, 20, they're, they're 20 minutes, 20 minutes. If they can hold out for 20 minutes, I would feel comfortable in saying That's that... That's a very long time! It's not a short oh, period of time. Oh! Bye! GH might be paying for that one. The Fisher from 1437 coming through as well. And with Cuckoo there, he's silenced for the moment, but the right click still hurt and it takes the kill as well as Raven takes down mind control. Oh, actually, Cuckoo stole that kill right there, so he gets a double, but that was two quick kills on cores. Yeah, definitely not worth it. And the biggest thing is that it's going to reset your push. Yeah. There's not a whole lot that you can do during this time. So for Liquid, they're going to have to fan out, farm a little bit, push out the waves. Wait for this Roshan. That was the big thing that we talked about. They need to wait for this Roshan. Is Kroki going to get chased down? Although, oh. Cuckoo doesn't have the best mana pool to work with right now. He's going for the full Dagon build. Yeah. Miracle, interestingly enough, has a BKB. Looks like he wants an Aghanim Scepter. Not an item I see super commonly. I guess there's some really cool synergy between... Huskar Ags and the Necro Reaper Scythe. I guess so. Why? Think about it, Shiver. You 
You deal a bunch of damage and then Necro Reaper sights you. Yeah, but that's like any kind of burst damage. They already have the nice thing with the Oracle yeah, but the damage. You do that anyways. It's just and more. And it's cool. <laughs> it's, it's like a... It's like a I mean, are you promoting like, to buy a Dagon too? It's like three Dagons. You're triple Dagoning and it's... It's such a short cooldown. <laughs> I don't know, dude. But you're still only gonna be able to do it in one Reaper Scythe, and Reaper Scythe has still a if, long cooldown. If it were up to me, Shiver, this man would not have these items. But you're trying to. It is not you're up you're to trying me. to. Uh, I'm trying to see his his point of view. All right, fair enough. Walk a mile in Miracle Shoes. Oh. oh Alright, let's up. Teleport out. Should be okay. Oh. Oh. No, he's not. No, he's not okay. Gh. All the Treons as well. Reaper Scythe to finish him off. Ba boom. Oh, oh, but in comes Cuckoo? Cuckoo. He takes the kill on GH. Cuckoo's going off right now. I mean, he has to, right? We talked about this during the draft as well, that there was a lot of pressure on this Tinker to delay the game. He's doing he's it. Trying. Yeah, Yeah, he's doing it. 20 minutes. So when you said that, it was ni 29 minutes when you said that. Okay. I will remember. 29 minutes. Oh, at bottom. Yeah, that's the dead sound king. He was very deep, though. They're not delaying like that, Chief. No, but in the top lane, there's or Cuckoo's already pushing out top yeah. as well, so... This is the best thing he can do, just shove out the lanes, do this as much as possible. There is a Scythe of Ice now on Nature's Prophet, by the way, and Roshan is up. This is the second lane of Rax Roche. Miracle, gonna pick it up for himself. There is a cheese on the floor too, but it looks like he wants that. He takes it too. That's greedy. Yeah. Give it to Matama, man. There's a gem on the floor as well. There we go. This yeah. is a heart. Necro as well. What's the reasoning behind leaving the gem? Or is he expecting mind control to take it? Um, or is Jesse to just not want to have it when the push is happening? I will say that mind control doesn't take it, and it's just left on the ground, and everyone forgets about it. That's exactly what's happening, by the way. <laughs> I mean, bottom, oh, at bottom. Yeah, that's Raven. He's in a in a lot of trouble there. He wants to go back to base. He needs to be back to this base. This is a three v five right now up at top. This is going to be TNC's best opportunity to go for a fight. That's why you see the lift. Yeah. You're from 1437, but yeah. the Rax has already fallen. You've got to do something about this, though. I mean, he's just standing there. You can root him all you want, but he's just standing there attacking. He's got the Aegis. He's absolutely perfectly fine. Now they go in. So much On damage! On the back line, Miracle is still alive. And Tim's, he has to flee the scene. Clockwork already down. That's going to be an Ember Spirit in a lot of trouble. He's going out of the base, maybe trying to do something to Kuroki, but Kuroki is holding oh, his ground as well, and GH... Oh, he was already on the high ground waiting for that to happen. Gets a kill, no buyback on Raven. That's a second lane of Rax, and it looks like Miracle with his Aegis is moving himself to the bottom lane. And uh, trying to... Uh, well, actually succeeding in taking that bottom lane of Rax Look as at well. that damage. That was, that was the Sand King that was standing there. And uh, It's going to be Mega Creeps at 34. Yep. We will never make it to 49 minutes by the looks of things. Yeah, okay. That did, that you never know. Be optimistic. I think TNC wants me to be optimistic as well, but it's looking pretty grim for them. Oh, GH okay. is dead. Yeah, no, know. he's not. Kuroki saving lives left, right, and center. Cuckoo stuck. He's uh, under the glimmer cape at the moment. Might be okay. Maybe not okay. Taking a lot of damage still. Dies. Uh, this, this, has, this has to be game. GG. There you go. What a wonky game at the start, but once uh, once the two men got that rampage that I think everybody on stream missed. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, that no didn't happen. Technical issues here, but that that was the game changer. That basically. Shiver, we can write history however we want. Nothing happened. Nothing. Happened. <laughs> <laughs> These guys don't have to know. We don't have to. Wait. Hey, that means Liquid is one step closer on uh, securing their self top four. They're already looking very good. This game would put them nine and two. TNC is now six and five. They have to. They have to step it up because they are actually on the brink of not being in the top four. So we'll see what they do in the second game. Liquid versus TNC. Stay tuned for more Dota two.